Hello, everyone, and happy holidays. Thanks for joining us. I'm Donald Bell. And I am Molly Wood. Welcome to CNET's Top 10 Holiday Tech Gift List. We'll be counting down CNET's editor's top 10 gift ideas for the holidays. These are the hottest gadgets we've reviewed here at CNET.com, the place where people go online to discover the latest in tech. And it's the best place to find everything you need when it comes to buying it. You get CNET's unbiased reviews and thousands of product ratings from users like you. Today, we're going to count down CNET's 10 most popular tech gifts for the season. But since it's only a half hour program, we suggest you cruise on over to CNET.com for our complete CNET holiday gift guide. There you'll find the complete list of our editor's picks for the best giftable tech in every category and at every price. And maybe even a gift for someone who looks an awful lot like you. That's okay. We won't tell. I will tell. Meanie. I always tell. Yeah. All right, are you ready to get this started? I am. Let's do this, Donald Ooh. Bell. All right. Kicking off our top 10 list, coming in at number 10 is the 3M Streaming Projector. Now, this to me is the perfect gift for the geek who has everything, because they don't have this. It's a little portable video projector that's completely self-contained, built-in battery, built-in Wi-Fi, built-in speaker, and it comes with Roku software. Now, what that means is that you can stream Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, HBO Go, and even CNET TV just through this little device. Plus, it projects it. It's so small, it's handheld. Think of it as a tiny little TV in a box, content included, as long as you have Wi-Fi. It's also great for travel. All right, let's not just stop at 10. Coming in at number nine on CNET's top 10 holiday tech gifts list is the Audio-Technica ATH M30 headphones. Earbuds are dead and everybody needs headphones, so these make a great, easy gift idea, especially for a traveler in your life. And these ones are a great price, just $50 for pretty good performance. They're also an over-ear design that's great for blocking out noise and they're very comfortable. Most smartphones and MP3 players these days don't come with any headphones or they come with those little rinky-dink earbuds. So these make a great upgrade. All right, we have a long way to go in a short amount of time, so let's keep this train moving. At the great number eight on CNET's top 10 holiday tech gift list is the Panasonic Lumix DMC ZS20 point-and-shoot camera. With so many people choosing to shoot their pictures on their smartphones these days, camera manufacturers are really starting to step things up, and this is a prime example. This little point-and-shoot includes GPS that can tag a location to your photos, and as seen as Josh Goldman points out, the lens is an ultra-wide angle like a brand lens. You're just not going to find that on a smartphone. Yeah, that lens especially is remarkable. Yes, there's the ultra-wide angle, which is a huge plus, but it also has a 20x zoom. It's practically a telephoto, and it takes great high-def videos, which is another big selling point. Now, it is still a point-and-shoot, so the image quality isn't going to be enough for taking and printing poster-sized photos, but standard prints and photos are going to look great. I just kind of wish it had Wi-Fi. Almost time for our first break, but before we go, as interesting as these tech gifts are, we all know that kids play a big role in the holidays, and we didn't want to leave them out of the fun. So we asked CNET senior editor Brian Tong to come up with some tech gift ideas for the little ones. Tis the season to think about what everyone on your gift list is looking for. And chances are, you have some young ones on that list. Well, there's no better way to show them that you are in the know than to give them a tech gift. I'll show you a few great tech products that will pretty much work for kids of all ages. First up, the iPod Touch. A lot of the kiddies want smartphones these days, but you're not ready for your child to have his or her own phone. The iPod Touch is a great solution. It allows them to download apps, listen to music, surf the web, and watch videos while leaving you alone, all without running up phone minutes or data plans. Next up, how about a 7-inch tablet? It's smaller, which is great for the kids, and they can download textbooks, play games, and surf the web. You've heard of the kid-friendly iPad mini, but a tablet like the Kindle Fire HD also has parental controls so you can feel more secure, and even better, it won't break the bank. And finally, something for the family and kids. The Nintendo Wii U is the new video game console this holiday season, and it will be one of the hottest gifts this year. It brings a whole new type of experience with the Wii U GamePad. It's a touchscreen controller that interacts with your games in completely different ways that you just haven't seen before. This is the perfect gift that will make your kids happy and bring the family together, just like my mama's marshmallow-covered yams. Mm. Now, for more great ideas, head on over to CNET.com for our holiday gift guide. I'm Brian Tong from CNET, and we'll be right back.
Some of CNET's top picks for gifts under $50 are the Panasonic RP-HTX7 headphones, the Belkin Bluetooth music receiver, and the Roku LT. Some of CNET's top picks for gifts under $100 are the Logitech Harmony 650 Universal Remote Control, the Barnes & Noble Nook Simple Touch, and the Apple TV. For more on these products, go to CNET.com for our complete holiday gift guide. Welcome back to the one and only CNET's Top 10 Holiday Tech Gifts list. We've been counting down CNET's editors' Top 10 Gift Ideas for the Holidays. And let's keep the momentum going. Coming in on CNET's list at number seven is the Sonos Play 3 streaming audio speaker. These Sonos speakers are on our top gift list almost every year. They are just a great gift. They sound good. You can get several of them to cover your whole house. And they come with free iOS and Android apps, so you can actually control your music with an iPhone, an iPod Touch, or even an iPad, or any Android phone or tablet. That's a big deal. It's all happening wirelessly, so you don't have to worry about special adapters or extra cables. Apple's changing its connection standard so it doesn't work anymore. It all happens over Wi-Fi. The next gift on the list is one for the whole family, and it is a big one. Number six on CNET's top 10 holiday tech gift list is the Panasonic TCPST50, otherwise known as our editor's favorite overall TV. Now again, nothing says tech gift for the whole family like a new TV, but if you haven't looked into a television in a couple years, they've come a long way. Yep, if you've been waiting to upgrade your TV or waiting for the prices to come down, this is a slam dunk. The picture quality is awesome, deep blacks, good colors, and it looks good at any angle. Our review editor, David Kassmeyer, seen as TV guru, calls this flagship level picture quality at a mid-level price. Yeah, our editors absolutely love this TV, and for good reason. It can also do 3D if you wanted to, although unfortunately, it doesn't come with any glasses. Still, a hot TV. Plus, this is the first product on the list that is a CNET editor's choice. That's the award that we give out very sparingly to the cream of the crop products that we review on CNET.com. As we get closer to the top of this list, you're going to hear that term a lot. Now, here's something that I'm sure a lot of you have been looking forward to on this list, and it's also a CNET editor's choice. Coming in at number five on CNET's top 10 holiday tech gifts is the iPhone 5. iPhone 5. Actually, that tells you how many good tech gifts there are that the iPhone 5 is number five on the list. Right. But you know, phones are a tricky gift to buy for people, so this is a good option for a family member or a spouse, that kind of thing. And of course, the benefits are obvious. It's thinner, lighter, it has a bigger screen, and that faster 4G data. And obviously, it's a great gift for someone who already has an older iPhone, especially if they're still on a 3GS or a 4. You can get almost any carrier, and as phones go, nothing holds its value better than an iPhone. All right, we're halfway through the list. Now, if you want more of a breakout of the tech gifts this year, head over to CNET.com, where you'll find a complete list on CNET's holiday gift guide. Almost time to take another quick break, but first, a must-see, especially if you like to put your own unique stamp on your gifts. Our crafty editor, Sharon Vaknin, has some great ideas for DIY tech gifts. When it's cold out and you've got your gloves on, forget about using your phone or tablet. It just doesn't work. Because these devices have capacitive touch screens, they respond to the static electricity in your fingertips. Gloves block this signal and you're left without access to your phone. But here's a way that you can turn almost any pair of gloves into touchscreen compatible accessories so your fingers stay toasty while texting or checking Facebook. This makes for a great gift for anyone with a smartphone or tablet. All you need is a pair of gloves, conductive thread, which you can get on sparkfun.com, and a hand sewing needle. To hack your gloves, just make a few short stitches at every fingertip you'll use with your touchscreen. The conductive thread will transfer the electricity from your fingertips to the touchscreen. This DIY is so easy that you might make these touchscreen gloves as stocking stuffers for all the phone addicts in your family. For more DIY gift tips, such as making Instagram photo strips and even creating your own personalized QR code gift tags, head on over to CNET's 2012 Holiday Gift Guide on CNET.com and look for the DIY gift category. I'm Sharon Vaknin, and we'll be right back. Some of CNET's top picks for tech toys include the Ion Audio iCade, the Hasbro Laser Tag Blaster Pack, 
and the MakerBot Replicator 3D Printer. Some have seen its top picks for the best TVs under $500 include the Vizio E320i AO, the Toshiba 32C120U, and the Samsung UN32EH4000. For more on these products, go to CNET.com for our complete holiday gift guide. Welcome back to CNET's Top 10 Holiday Tech Gift List. We're halfway through our list of CNET's Top 10 Tech Gifts, and it only gets better. Sneaking in at number four is another CNET Editor's Choice, the Roku LT. There it is. Ooh. It sneaked into his pocket. Oh, man, is that small. It kind of stomps in, actually, because when is Roku not on our holiday gift list? It's pretty much the best, easiest gift in the world for anyone who wants to add streaming internet content to their TV. This little $50 box turns any TV into a smart TV, giving you instant access to streaming video from Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, even HBO Go. It's easy to set up, and it's great for anyone you know who's still getting DVDs from Netflix. Let's see what number three is, shall we? The tech product that reads number three on CNET's top 10 holiday tech gift list is the Kindle Paperlight. Get it? Reads? Yeah, here's another editor's choice and it represents a big trend in e-readers this year. E-ink screens with a built-in light. So if your husband or wife likes to read before bed and keeps the lights on, this can be a slightly selfish gift to help you sleep better. And it's a big departure for Kindle. This is not quite a tablet. It's still about the reading experience, but the backlit screen is really something. And they say it won't give you a headache the way an LCD screen could. Although it is not as full featured as a tablet, still has nice long battery life. And you know, Kindles, they always make a great gift. All right, the end is nearing. Number two on CNET's top 10 holiday tech gift list is the Samsung Galaxy S3. And this is the little smartphone that could. It's outselling the iPhone 5, and it has really showed people that an Android phone can be as fun, easy to use, and actually more powerful than an iPhone 5. And while the iPhone 5 is still an excellent smartphone, it's a little timid compared to many of the flagship Android phones out there. The Galaxy S3 has a bigger screen, it's beautiful, and it comes on every major carrier. And as you probably guessed it, it has a stamp of a Cena editor's choice. Now we need to take our final break, but don't go anywhere because when we come back, we'll have the device that is number one on the wish lists of CNET, the people who love tech. Taking us to our break is our own Bridget Carey with tips on how to do your online shopping. Fighting crowds, waiting in long lines, camping out in front of stores, it's not something you have to put up with anymore to score a sale. Here's a crash course in mastering the hunt for online deals. With these tools, you can save some serious money. The first step is to know what you're looking for and make a list. Even if you don't know the exact brand name, put down something generic. You want to stay focused to be efficient with your time. Next, do some research. If you're looking for a new TV or a camera, but you don't know where to start, use a site like CNET to check reviews and roundups. Try to become an instant expert on the product category you're shopping for. Once the homework is done, you can get specific and zero in on the products you'd be happy with. Let's say I want to get this Canon SX260 point and shoot. It's got great reviews from critics and users, but I don't want to pay the full retail price of $350. So now it's time to see which retailer is selling it for the lowest price. Go to google.com slash shopping or go to pricegrabber.com and type in the product name. It'll show you all the different prices from around the web and it looks like you can get the camera for under $250 and that's a much better deal. Once you've found a price you like, you can still get it for cheaper with a coupon code. Retail Me Not has a bunch of checkout coupon codes for popular stores. You might find one you can use. You also have to think about those shipping costs. Some stores have free shipping promotions, and if you're buying off Amazon, you can get free shipping with an Amazon Prime account, and up to four family members can use it. Prime does cost $80 a year, but you can get a one-month free trial. Parents get three months for free at Amazon.com slash mom. Students can get a year free at Amazon.com slash student. Finally, if the pressure is on to find something in a hurry and you're stumped for ideas, try a daily deal site. These are clearing houses for random stuff, but the deals are legit. Check out sites like Woot, Slick Deals, and Fat Wallet. These are all worth a shot if you're in a pinch. So there you go. Those are your online shopping tips that you can use for the holidays or year-round. For CNET.com, I'm Bridget Carey, and we'll be right back.
Some of CNET's top picks for cameras include the Sony Cybershot DSC RX100, the Nikon D3200, and the Canon EOS Rebel T3i. Some of CNET's top picks for the best Ultrabooks and thin laptops include the Acer Timeline UM5, the HP Envy Spectre XT, and the Apple MacBook Air. For more on these products, go to CNET.com for our complete holiday gift guide. Okay, everyone, I hope we've given you some great tech gift ideas here on CNET's top 10 holiday tech gift list so far. But we are just getting to the hottest technology on almost everyone's list today. Drum roll, please. Wait, 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 wait. Stop. Well, we should do a recap of all the products we've done so far. That's true, a recap. Yes. All right, number 10 was the 3M streaming projector, that little TV in a box, followed by number nine, the Audio-Technica ATH M30 headphones. Number eight was the Panasonic Lumix DMC ZS20 camera. Number seven on CNS top 10 holiday tech gifts was the Sonos Play 3 streaming speaker. Coming in at number six, our favorite overall TV, the Panasonic TC PST50. And at number five, the ever popular iPhone 5. Number four was the Roku LT. And number three was the Kindle Paperwhite. Number two was the Samsung Galaxy S3. And that, my friends, brings us to the big kahuna, numero uno. Number one on CNET's top 10 holiday tech gift list. Drum roll, please. Wait, stop. Before we do a drum roll, there's a twist. There's a twist. There was so much debate around CNET about which product would be number one, we decided that we had to include a runner-up. You can think of it as technology's Miss America. That's right. So the runner-up to number one on our tech gift list is the iPad mini, the new baby iPad. It's still a little bit expensive compared to those $199 seven inch tablets out there, but if you've been dying for an iPad that is smaller and lighter and easier to hold, 329 bucks gets you into one. It's kind of like a starter iPad. Right. Whether you already have an iPad or you've been sitting on the fence about buying a tablet at all, you really can't miss with the iPad mini. You got all the apps and media of Apple, but in a much more portable form. Okay, are we finally ready for number one? Because I'm gonna say drum roll. Yes. And I don't want you saying stop. You can have it. Okay. Okay. Drum roll, please. Number one on CNET's top 10 holiday tech gift list is the, the Nexus, Nexus 7. 7. Look at it. Oh. Yeah. Little seven inch tablet. This one runs Android. Ooh, and I think the idea here is that all these seven inch tablets make a great gift for the holidays. They're like a little mini computer, but not as big and heavy as the full 10 inch tablet. But the Nexus 7 got our Cena editor's choice and it's just a much better value at $199. It's absolutely a better value than the iPad mini. The screen is better, the size is even more portable, and you still get great apps and content. The Nexus 7 ties in with everything that Google does so well. Android apps, eBooks, YouTube, search, Google Music, mm -hmm. it's all there and you save $130 over the price of an iPad mini. This is a winner. I'll take it. All right, we did it. And unfortunately, we are out of time, everyone. We hope that you enjoyed spending this time with us and learning all about technology. If you didn't get enough for your tech fix, you can find more of us and great tech news and reviews over at CNET.com. And remember, go to CNET.com for our complete CNET holiday gift guide. I'm Donald Bell. And I am Molly Wood. Thank you for watching. And make sure to like us on Facebook and follow CNET on Twitter. And also, happy holidays. Hey, I'm Justin Yu, headphone editor for CNET with a product spotlight on my pick for best all-around over-ear headphone. Of course, the main reason we really like this set is its picture quality to price ratio. This TV scored a 9 in our picture quality evaluations, which is right up there with the very best TVs of the year and better than any LED we've reviewed this year. Unlike a lot of big screen smartphones, the iPhone 5 is discreet, it's compact, and it still manages to fit in a larger screen and a lot of great features that we've been waiting for. It's a fantastic all-around phone, and it's one that a lot of Android users are going to envy too. So far, I'm impressed with what I've seen. The screen feels very responsive to tapping and swiping. Typing also feels very precise. The tablet ships with Android 4.1, which updates Google Play to now offer movie purchases, TV shows, and magazines. Riptide GP ran smoothly and of course includes the Tegra 3 splashy effects. The light splays across the screen very uniformly and the screen has a pleasing white cast to it. This Kindle keeps track of your reading speed and can tell you how long it will take to finish a chapter or the rest of the book. Also you get Amazon's X-ray feature which isn't available on the entry-level Kindle.
CNET's Top 10 Holiday Tech Gift List is a special presentation of CBS Stations and CBS Interactive.